Welcome back, True Seeker. Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. In the news today, the police have identified the second victim of an alleged suicide that went to Stoneman Douglas. Prior to today, they said this person was anonymous. And I just want to briefly read the reporting and then show you what's so interesting about this. The student at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, who died by an apparent suicide on Saturday, has been identified as 16-year-old Calvin Desir, according to police. Coral Springs police officer Tyler Reek confirmed the boy's identity on Wednesday. The circumstances surrounding the student's death are not clear. CNN affiliate has reported the boy was a sophomore. He was the second teenager who attended the school during the shooting to die by suicide in the span of a week. Now, what's interesting is how they use the word boy twice in the reporting, a derogatory term towards black adult males. They didn't refer to the first victim, who was a young woman, as a girl. They referred to her as a teenager. So I find it strange the use of the word boy two times. And the reason I don't think that's any coincidence is because of this right here. His name, Calvin Desir, sums to 181, which is the 42nd prime number, just like how boy equals 42. And today's date, the date of this revelation, is a date with 42 numerology. And if you're new here, I've shown how all throughout history, this number 42 has been stamped on stories having to do with black people again and again and again. Many people know that Jackie Robinson wore the number 42, but a lot of people don't know that the name Jackie equals 42 in Gematria. They also don't know about the older history of the first black baseball player in white major league, which was Moses Walker, who played in exactly 42 games in the late 1800s. Moses Walker equals 42. So does February, Black History Month. And Black History also sums to 181. We've talked about how the name Barack Obama, which is a fake name, contrived for his puppet presidency. Barack Obama equals 181. From his birthday to Black History Month is 181 days each year. These numbers again and again. And just to make the point, here's another thing in the headlines today, March 27, 2019. The brothers who supposedly were paid by Jesse Smollett to contrive the hoax story of the attack on him, look at how they're referred to. Do the Osunduro Bros. The Osunduro Bros. What's that equal? Oh, 181. You know, they became part of the story in February, Black History Month. Brothers 42. You know, so many words that are attached to Black History, if you will, sum to 42. And I love that one of the brothers' names Abel. So, anyway. Don't forget that the Stoneman Douglas shooting was in February, Black History Month. Look at how this victim's name overlaps with Black History. It's the same in three out of the four ciphers. Black History, Calvin Desir. Same in three out of the four. And another thing that stands out is from the date of the Stoneman Douglas shooting to this latest detail is 58 weeks later. The big Freemasonry number. And if you missed the video I did on the two Stoneman Douglas suicides and the father of the Sandy Hook parent went into greater detail on 58. So I'm going to link that video in the top corner. Understand all news media is contrived propaganda. Again, you live in the age of artificial intelligence where lifelike renderings can easily be created. It's very possible that all of these people that you're seeing in the media do not exist. We'll leave it there, true seeker. Until next time.